what's up youtube welcome to auto three garage as you can see we are on the mercedes benz so last night um i was riding and then all of a sudden when i stopped at a light uh my dash my dash right here where it indicates rather it's in part reverse neutral drive or rather I have it uh, on the manual shift from one, uh, two, three, and four. Um, it just went blank. So I had to ride my car in first gear the whole time. Um, it would not shift in second, third, or nothing. So yeah, I did research after research, looked at forms, Asked the Facebook group and the issue, the most common issue with this car, it has a 722.6 transmission on here. The common problem um, could occur um, TCM failing. Uh, as you can see, this TCM was full of oil, but the reason why it's like that uh, is because down, down here is a 13 pin connector and it go up to that uh tcu or tcm uh transmission control module or transmission control unit and that's known to do that but if it did that which you can see i had oil up there i have a bad seal which i need to replace this connector and also i don't have a scanner so i gotta buy a scanner and uh other common issue is uh the conductor plate which is under here um or the solenoids could be bad or the conductor self is uh self and i also heard that the valve body also could be the issue but fingers crossed it'd be this piece we can you know go from there but if not i might have to drain all this transmission uh fluid out which were uh guaranteed for life but i seen forms to where you have to change it every forty thousand miles and all that so end up taking that fluid out getting real dirty with this it's gonna be real fun and interesting but before i do all that i might need to buy a computer first to see what's going on before we you know, go down like that. I know I can test the uh, solenoids by owning them, owning them out, see if they got uh, a good resistance. But other than that, I'm probably gonna buy this uh, connector. Look for a scanner. Go ahead and buy that. Um, this is gonna be fun. And also, this oil right here is coming from uh, my valve uh, cover gasket up top. Um. So I need to replace my valve cover gaskets. Those known to go out um, with this car. So right here is a gasket. No, 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 no. Right here is a gasket. Right here they use like some type of glue uh, for this piece right here. So I'm gonna have to reseal it and all that. I'm thinking about putting an oil catch can on here because uh, I know. Um, how does car get driven rather I'm like towing my four wheeler or playing with it a little bit, which I don't be too crazy or nothing with it. Uh, I do be cruising majority of the time, but sometimes I'll step on the gas. Um, I mean, all that crankcase um, pressure, that's just like for any car, uh, it just build up and oil sometimes got to go somewhere. So it might end up like trying to burst out these seals and all that little stuff. So I got to see how I'm going to set that up. But I'm gonna look for the connector first. Um, I know I took this out and it was just drenched with oil. It just, but this is this is this this is known. This is known to do that. Um, hopefully this is not bad right here. Um, I don't want to just re replace parts and don't fix it. So we started the connector. Get a um, computer which I need to connect right here. This is a 38 pin uh, connector, so we can uh, find this fault code. Uh, kinda sucks. Um, 
and that my car went down. I was supposed to go riding, making video for my other channel I have, which is a Renegade, which I will have down here if you want to check that out off-road content um but you know things happen um i still can make ways to make videos and all that that's not gonna be bad and also guys look at my belt <laughs> belt going too man so yeah <sighs> all right so guys look here <sighs> we'll take that out so I'm up. When we replace this connector, when we replace this connector, um, which is right here, the connector is right here, and this is uh, from the top part up there. Now it's a, I don't know if y'all can see, but it's a seven millimeter right there. I need to take out and pull this thing out. And we just go from there. Make sure your engine, I mean, your transmission out hot um, before you pull that. Make sure it's cold. And mine is pretty cold. I haven't been running or nothing like that. So, let's get to it. So, guys, I got a 7 millimeter. And I am uh, moving here. Huh? Okay, guys, you might want to drain the fluid first, but I probably should have had the car tilted up a little bit more, probably. But, yeah. Let's look at this inside. And let me clean this mess up. Oh, gosh. So guys, this is the connector. I might have to uh, drop that pan. That's what I'm thinking because it looked like um, the other end uh, inside the transmission is kind of leaking out. But I'm gonna uh, continue to do my research and all that. Uh, but shoot, bear with me and all that. Uh, hopefully I can figure it out, but I might end up changing this, changing that conductor plate and all that. So we will see though, but I ain't, I ain't know the issues could occur like this though. If I known I would have been changed everything just to, you know, do preventative maintenance and all that. So yeah. So see y'all.